Hello everyone, my name is Rory Neary and I'm going to demonstrate to you an app that I put together. It, this is my presentation app. So the idea was people were talking about Power Apps as if it is a kind of merger between PowerPoint and Excel. And so I thought to myself, well, why not actually do a, uh, a Power App that it is essentially PowerPoint? Um, but of course, because it's the Power Platform, it can be made so much cooler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight. I'm not going to do the bit where I talk to you about how I actually did it. What I'm going to do is show you how it works. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my dynamic slide um, and I'm just going to step back a bit. Um, so essentially we've got some invisible buttons essentially. And um, so that means I can step through um, step through the different parts of the presentation. So this is where I start all the training courses I deliver. I talk about journeys and I talk about how everyone's on a journey and so on so that they don't get too stressed out that they, they don't know everything by the end of the course and so on. Um, and so I talk about um, how everybody's on a journey. Now, one cool feature that I introduced recently was I, um, and that's why the Power Platform is so cool, is I thought, you know, I wonder if I can actually do this so I can translate it. And of course, uh, I was able to do that. So if we move back to the dynamic slide, the whole thing is now written in French, which I think is super cool because actually this presentation, this um, presentation can now be delivered in over 60 languages, which includes Klingon if you're interested. Um, so that is cool. Um, but the other, there's loads of other really, really nice touches to it, uh, which, um, so I really love the Power uh, BI one. So what we have here is what I call a snap survey. I just invented it. Essentially, I asked the people in the room uh, a question and then and then they gave, give me a response. Uh, and so it's it's partly sort of demonstrate the um, the platform because it uses forms, uh, use an awful lot of technology to make this this thing happen. So if I kind of jump out of this sort of uh, mode here, uh, and I actually show you the um, the page which has got the survey on it. So essentially, they can navigate to this page, and if you click a yes on it, you click submit. And then what happens is when you move back to the uh, presentation here, what it does is when it refreshes, it actually pulls that survey in. That's like pretty uh, amazing, like it is to me anyway. But also, if I because it's all sitting in SQL Azure, if I click uh, clear survey, it actually she sends um, a truncate table statement to the database so that when it next runs it should actually have completely zapped the data so it's some really quite powerful stuff going on here um, one thing I didn't show was that on this sort of dynamic slide piece you can actually the way in which thought of you can just navigate keep navigating through the screen so every it's the same screen um, but it's just it just kind of re uh, regenerates itself every time based on the data that's in the um, that's in the common data service so and some more cool features uh, I think I've done languages already but I've also got um, this one I really like and people haven't really done this before um, but it's actually demonstrates that what we've got is it's the same sort of idea but this time it's not looking at a dashboard it's actually looking at a proper survey uh, sorry it's looking at a proper Power BI report which I didn't realize you could do and what this is doing it's actually cycling between three completely different reports which it seems to include the um, survey which is a little bit glitchy but it's just cycling between three reports which is quite nice so I think and then and then I think the thing that re I really love about this is the tech that's involved is really quite cool so if I want to add a new um, if I want to add uh, a new slide in I just kind of go new slide and I kind of think well what which one what order does it need to be in well maybe I'll call it sort of 1002 uh, and then I'll give it a header and then hackathon now I did do something on this earlier on uh, and then all I would need to do is tap or click to add the pitch which obviously would work on the phone as well uh, this was a hackathon I went to uh, hack for education uh, and then you can add it in and then when you click the add button it'll actually add it into the uh, and the survey and uh, sorry the um, presentation adds a new slide in so I quite like this I probably demonstrate an awful lot of things in here um, and there's there's bits and pieces there's other bits and pieces that I could demonstrate to you but you know if you want more of this, then please vote for it. Um, there's some quite cool tech that I could go a little bit further um, under the hood on. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this and see you again soon.